equations with one square root. Problem 11 on page 312. The square root of x plus 1 equals x minus 5. We cannot solve for x while it's still in the square root, so to cancel out the square root, we will square both sides of the equation. Simplifying, the square root cancels out with the power of 2, leaves me with x plus 1. On the right hand side, we have to make sure we multiply that properly. It's x minus 5 times x minus 5, which gives us x squared minus 10x plus 25 when you FOIL. We now have a quadratic equation. The way to solve those, get 0 on one side of the equation, factor the other side of the equation. Now we will set each factor equal to 0, and we get um, x minus 8 equals 0, and also x minus 3 equals 0 as two ways to satisfy that equation. Solving for x. So we get x equals 8 and x equals 3 as our two solutions to that equation. So, are we done? The answer to that is no. We have to actually check our answers. And this is not just good advice, but we, it's a requirement for this type of problem. So let's check x equals 8. You go back to the original equation and plug in 8 for x. Simplifying, we get the square root of 9 on the left-hand side and 3 on the right-hand side. Indeed, square root of 9 is 3, and so what results is a true statement. 3 equals 3. This lets us know that x equals 8 is indeed a solution to the original equation. Okay, we still have one more, equa or one more possible solution to check, so we go back again to the original equation, and we need to check x equals 3. So, plug 3 in for x and simplify. On the left hand side of the equation we will get the square root of 4, but on the right hand side we will get negative 2. Now when we take the square root of 4, the answer is 2, which does not equal negative 2. So x equals 3 does not satisfy the original equation. Thus it is an extraneous solution, a bogus solution that we must throw away. This only leaves us, or this leaves us with the only solution to the equation being x equals 8 there are no other solutions. That concludes uh, the examples from section 3.4 on equations with one square root. Please let me know if you have any questions.